Guys, in our digestive system um, uh, physiology, we spoke about the, the anal canal, and uh, we spoke about different um, parts of the anal canal. Uh, we spoke about the different lines that actually divide these parts of anal canal. Now, but this was like uh, just a general knowledge, okay? But you know that in um, in the cases of like tests, exams, assignments, most questions that come is uh, differences. Okay, if they teach you about similar things, the next thing is differences. Okay, so now on the basis of this, we'll be discussing the differences between the pectinate line and the white line of Hilton. Both are in the anus. Okay, but what are their differences? It's a very good question. So the question is based on anatomical location and anatomical significance, differentiate pectinate line. And white line of Hilton. So looking at this side, looking at this side, guys. Mm, this is a pectinate line. I would say that the pectinate line, can you see that? I would say that this line is below the what? And our valves. While the white line of Hilton is what found in the pectin. That was one thing I would like you guys to note here. All right, so let's move. Based on anatomical location. We said that the pectinate line is an irregular line at the lower limit of anal valves, which divides the upper third and the lower two thirds of the anal canal. Okay, so um, this is the anal canal. All right, this one now is the what? Upper one third. Okay, because it's smaller. This one is longer. Okay, so this is the lower two third. Okay, so the line dividing it is the pectinate line okay while the Hilton, Hilton's line is located at the lower limit of the pectin at the internal at the interval between the subcutaneous what external anal sphincter and the lower part of internal anal sphincter all right so this this um skeletal muscle you see out here is the external anal sphincter the anything inside here is a smooth one that's it so this is the external anal sphincter right and this is the internal anal sphincter. Okay, so moving forward, guys, let's just summarize everything we have said there on this picture. Okay, so you see anal valves, all these um, curvy lines here. Okay, you see the pectinate line is like beneath the anal valves. Then, this is a pectin. All right, now the lower border of the pectin, we have the white line of Hilton. All right, so you could even just draw this picture to have everything in your head. Okay. So, we have differentiated them based on anatomical location. Now, we'll be talking about them based on anatomical significance. The pectinate line serves as an important landmark in humans, okay, via which several distinctions can be made based upon the location of the structures related to it, okay? While the line of Hilton the white line of Hilton is an important anatomical landmark beneath which the intersphincteric groove, that's the groove between the what external anal sphincter and the lower part of the what internal anal sphincter. This groove can be palpated during examination of the anal canal. Okay, so that's straight up just the differences between the pectinate line and the white line of Hilton. Or Hilton's white line. What is the best way to put this? White line of Hilton. Hilton's white line. Pectinate line. Hilton's white line. Okay, all of them end with line, so I'll put it like that. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. And see you guys in the next one. Bye.